Hello healthy friends. I don't know if you're like many people that come to me with questions, but I've been asked more about what to do for stress and anxiety over these last few years. It's definitely a common problem and it's definitely a growing problem with all that's going on in our world. So in this video, I want to share with you some of the top essential oils and blends to help with stress and anxiety because anything that we can do that is natural and safe and healthy and good for our bodies is always the best way to go. That being said, let's go ahead and dive into some of the best essential oils to help you feel a little bit more calm this year. So let's start with oils that come from trees. Generally, oils that come from trees are known as being very grounding, relaxing, providing kind of this sense of connection just as trees are connected to the earth and nature, they help us to feel more relaxed, more calm, more grounded. So some of the best essential oils you can use are oils like frankincense, Douglas fir, Siberian fir, and copaiba, or copaiba, depending on how you pronounce it. Frankincense is definitely one of my absolute favorites. I love how it smells. Anytime I diffuse this, whether by itself or with other oils, it gives just an immediate sense of like, <sighs> and it's good for so many other things too. It's called the king of oil. So it has so many uses, but this is always one I can go to when I need a sense of calm and grounding and just a little bit of relief from stress. These oils tend to blend really well with citrus oils. And I'll talk about some of those in just a minute, or they can just be diffused on their own. So of all of these oils that I just mentioned, all of them can be used internally, except for Douglas fir. This one you can't take internally, but all the others you can. So you can put into a drop, uh, drop into some water. Uh, some people even put it directly under their tongue, or you can put it into a veggie capsule and take it that way. And of course you can always diffuse it. Um, I prefer these diffused because I love the smell of it. To me, the smell is what feels the most calming. But if I tend to have a little bit more like anxiety or nerves going on inside of my body, then I might also take frankincense and copaiba in a veggie capsule and just help it to get into my body that way where it's going to be a little bit more potent. The next group of oils would be your citrus oils, like I mentioned, that blend really well with the tree oils. So anything like wild orange, bergamot, lemon, lime, grapefruit. <clears throat> These oils are very uplifting. So this is helpful if you're feeling maybe a little bit more discouraged, a little bit down. It's not just stress. There's like more of a maybe sadness that's accompanying those feelings. So these can provide a really good uplifting feeling to you, help to boost the mood, but they are also calming. So citrus oils are really cool because they're kind of adaptogenic, meaning they can both energize and boost your mood, but they can also help to calm you down. So wild orange is one of my absolute favorites. I use this in the morning and in the afternoon to kind of help get my energy going, perk me up. But I also like to use it sometimes in the evening, say blended with something like frankincense or Douglas fir and use that at night as kind of a happy calm sort of sensation in the diffuser. And most of the citrus oils, not all of them, but a lot of them can be taken internally as well. And the benefit with these ones is they taste really good. So if you like flavored water or you like flavored sparkling water, then you can add a, dro a drop into water and take them that way. Just a note of precaution, if you do use any essential oils internally in your water, make sure you are not using a plastic cup. The essential oils can leach the plastics out of the cup, putting those toxins into your body, which we do not want. So make sure that you're putting it in either stainless steel or just a glass, but no plastic. Moving on, a lot of floral oils are also very calming and relaxing. One of the most popular is lavender essential oil. Lavender is great for bedtime, helping you to sleep better, and the better sleep you get, the less stress you tend to have. If you get really good rest at night, it really helps to manage those high emotions. It keeps anxiety down, it keeps stress down, not just mentally, but also inside of your physical body, your cells, everything that's going on, helps to keep stress out of your body and out of your brain. So this is a really excellent one that blends super well with so many oils, but is also great on its own. It can also be taken internally. Um, Roman chamomile 
Ylang Ylang. These are also some great ones to just kind of help calm the mood. So any of these calming oils you can use throughout the day, but they're also excellent for bedtime to help you get to sleep and stay asleep. Another really great one is Madagascar Vanilla. This is kind of a newer one from doTERRA. Smells amazing, and this is one that you can really blend with anything practically, right? The smell of vanilla is just delicious. We love it. It can go with pretty much anything. So to create kind of that warm, cozy atmosphere, even romantic atmosphere, you can blend uh, vanilla with just about any blend, or of course, diffuse it on its own. And I like this one because it makes a good natural perfume. So if you need to calm down and relax, you can just put a little dab on your wrist. It also goes really well with the other floral oils. So if you need kind of a calming natural perfume, you can blend a few into a roller bottle like this. Something like vanilla and ylang ylang maybe, or vanilla and lavender gives a really nice and calming and romantic sort of vibe. Vetiver is another great one that I like. And I put my vetiver into a little container with a dropper bottle uh, top because vetiver is very thick. So if you're trying like this to get a drop out of your vetiver bottle, you're probably going to be waiting for quite a long time for one little drop to come out. It's like molasses kind of thick. So putting it in a little bottle with a dropper top makes it much easier to use. I highly recommend that. Vetiver is also very strong. It's a very strong smell. I love the smell of it when it is highly diluted. So like one drop in a large diffuser or one drop in a blend of some other oils. Um, I also like this maybe in the bath, again, where it's gonna be well diffused and diluted um, and not so strong. On its own, it is a quite strong smell, but it is very calming, very relaxing. One of my favorites. And then let's talk about essential oil blends. So all of these blends and all of these oils actually are from doTERRA essential oils. So you are only going to find these specific blends on the doTERRA website. These are proprietary. So these blends are some of my absolute favorites. More often than not, I turn to these over the single oils just because they're already pre-blended to help deal with things like stress and anxiety. So they have a really nice blend, they smell amazing, and it's just easier sometimes to just grab one bottle, put a few drops into your diffuser, and be done rather than have to go search out four or five oils. But I do highly encourage experimenting. Try different things, try different oils, see what works for you. So even though the blends are convenient, it is nice to experiment with different oils and see how they affect you, see how they help you to manage emotions and things like stress and anxiety. So some of my top blends for you are Balance Blend. This one is amazing. It's a very earthy, woodsy type of blend. To me, it is incredibly calming, maybe just because I'm a nature lover, but I love the smell of this. Immediately when I smell it, I have just a greater sense of calm, grounding, ability to manage. It's sort of just like, okay, just stop and think, take a deep breath, <laughs> calm down for a second. So this one I love to have throughout the day. I also love to diffuse it at night. And speaking of breathing, calming down, taking a breath, Breathe essential oil. Oh, that's upside down. Breathe essential oil is one of my favorites too. And part of it is because the name is breathe. So when you're using this, and this is the roller bottle, but it comes in a normal one of these bottles too. But this is just a different way you can apply it that makes it very easy. So I usually am applying this to my chest. And I do this for everything from before workout to just when I need to breathe and calm down. But because it's named breathe, it's really helpful to actually think about that when you're applying it. And not just because it's good for respiratory function, but to take it for a moment. And as you apply it to your body or as you put some drops in the diffuser to think, okay, stop and breathe, take a few breaths. And so whether you take some breaths out of your diffuser or maybe you put a couple drops in a hot thing of water and just kind of let that steam your face as you breathe it in or you apply it directly to your body, Take that minute to take some deep breaths, to really smell and inhale the oil. 
and remind yourself to calm down. Calming breaths are one of the most helpful things for stress and anxiety. A really deep breath in, anywhere from three to about seven counts, hold it at the top, and then release it for about another three or four counts. That alone can be very calming and relaxing in moments of stress. All right, my next favorite blend is Adaptive. This is, there's a whole line from this essential oil actually, and to be honest, when I first smelled this oil, I was very unimpressed. Um, I didn't particularly like it, but the more I started to use it, the more I fell in love with it. And now this, this and balance are my go-tos if I'm having nervousness, anxiety, stress, just need to calm down in some way. This is one of my absolute favorites. And this blend comes in not only the oil, but there are some capsules you can purchase that have some of these essential oils and that are intended to help calm your ne nervous system, calm down your body and mind. So that's a great one to look into, especially if maybe you don't want to smell or use the actual essential oil all the time, you can actually get the capsules and take it that way. And then the last blend that I wanna share is Peace Essential Oil. So Peace is a great blend. It includes vetiver in there. It has frankincense. A lot of these blends have some of the other oils I've already mentioned to you. So this has a really unique smell that does just kind of, again, like the others, invoke that sense of like peace and calming. And like Breathe, I encourage you when you're using some of these, like Adaptive and Balance and Peace, think about the name too and not just the smell. When you use them, whether you apply it you know, to your wrist or to your neck or to your chest, whether you're applying it on your body or you're diffusing it, think about what it means. Take a second to think about getting balanced, to think about adapting to the situation, to think about breathing in peace and exhaling the stress and anxiety. So all of the oils I've mentioned so far, like I said, you can use them topically on your body. Um, these should always be used within a carrier oil. If you wanna know more about how to safely and effectively use essential oils, I have a different YouTube video on that that I will link here. So I won't go into all the details, but essential oils should generally be diluted in a carrier oil to make it safe on your skin to use. And then you can always put them in a diffuser. Now the amounts that you would put into a diffuser completely varies by one, the type of diffuser you have, how much water it takes if it's a diffuser with water, and what your personal preference is, as well as the size of the room. So like in my office, I might diffuse three or four drops at a time, where in my family room, I might diffuse more like six, seven, eight drops because it's a much larger space. So I wanna share with you some different blends that you can use in case you wanna get these oils and try them but you're a little overwhelmed with where to start. You can put these in a diffuser as I just mentioned or you can also put them into a little roller bottle. So you put your oils in here first, you top it off with a carrier oil and then it has this little roller top to make it easy to just roll onto your body whenever you need it. A really easy blend and fun one to do is to actually mix adaptive and balance. Two of my favorites for calming, why not put them together? Um, Adaptive has a little bit more of like lavender and orange in it, where this is more kind of woodsy and earthy, so it creates a nice balance. Another one I like to do is to mix balance with either Citrus Bliss, which is a citrus blend, or just something like orange. Again, it just kind of creates a new vibe to it. It combines that uplifting citrus scent with this grounding, calming blend. Balance also goes well with vetiver. So about one drop of vetiver, a few drops of balance. Another one I like to do is Douglas fir and grapefruit. Again, very uplifting, happy, yet calming and grounding. I also really like to blend lavender and frankincense with a lot of different oils. So lavender and frankincense together makes a great blend. You can also add something like orange in there or bergamot. I also really like the combination of lavender with a, a lot of the tree scents like Siberian fir, which is one of my favorites. So lavender, Siberian fir, and then maybe put in some tangerine or orange. Orange and vetiver is another great combination. Orange and vanilla is also nice. Vanilla and vetiver go great together. And like I said, vanilla with practically anything smells great. One of my other absolute favorites, whether it's morning or evening, is to do frankincense, breathe, 
and a citrus oil like bergamot or lime. That's one of my favorite ones. It's a great pick-me-up. It helps to open up the airways. It's calming. It helps with focus. So across the board, that is one of my favorite blends to do as well. If you would like to get all those blends, I know I just ran through quite a few, but if you want some blend ideas and more specifically how many drops of each to do, then shoot me an email at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com and I will be happy to send you a free PDF of the blends that I just mentioned that are great for helping to calm stress and anxiety. And then the last thing I wanna share with you is there are some brand new enrollment kits from doTERRA geared specifically toward helping with mind and mood. So in this kit, you get the Lifelong Vitality Pack, which is supplements. It's vitamins and minerals, a cellular complex, and a fatty acid complex, which taking that alone can really help with general stress management and well-being. But then also in there, you get adaptive, the oil, and you also get the adaptive capsules. So this is a really good thing if maybe you are dealing more with stress and anxiety, or maybe you're not super familiar with essential oils and just kind of want to tiptoe in, and maybe taking supplements is a little bit easier way than trying to figure out all of these diffuser blends. But either way, whether you're new to this or you've been doing it a long time, that kit is an awesome way to get some of the necessities to help manage stress and anxiety in your mind and in your body. So that's called Evolve. It's a brand new kit. When you go to doTERRA, and I'll put my website right here, you go to the Enrollment Kits section, you find that Mind and Mood Evolve kit, just put that in your cart, and then that also gives you a free membership for the year. So if you don't currently use doTERRA and wanna get started with essential oils, you can enroll with my enroller ID, which I will put in the description below. When you use that enroller ID, you'll be plugged in to me and my resources and my team. We'll do a personal call, walk through the oils that you have, walk through maybe what you need if stress and anxiety is something you're dealing with, or any other health issue, it's just a personal consultation to help you manage your health in a natural way. You'll get plugged into tons of VIP continuing education. You'll get plugged into a Facebook group with lots of community resources, connections, giveaways, all types of things, and I will send you a free welcome gift. So if that's something you want to get started with, you can shoot me an email if you have questions or just go ahead to my website, use my enroller ID, and then we will get in touch. I will also add that while essential oils are amazing, the creator of essential oils is even more amazing. So if you're dealing with a lot of emotional issues and stress, I highly encourage you to take it in prayer to God, present it to him and allow him to work through your mind and emotions to calm you because nothing and no one will calm you as well as the one who created you. So I love to use these oils in my personal prayer and meditation time, my time with God, to really enhance that time, help me to focus, help me to connect better both to my own emotions and to God. But I love the partnership that they play. Also, if you need help figuring out some of this in your life from everything from how you can better manage your nutrition for stress and getting an exercise to help manage stress, and using essential oils. If you could use some coaching and some guidance in that process, that is what I'm here for. That's what I love to do. So contact me. We can do a free consultation and figure out what type of coaching would be best for your needs. Again, you can reach me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. So I hope all this is helpful to you, and I pray that this year is far better than the previous years, and that you experience far more calm, freedom from anxiety, and rest in your life. Thanks for watching. Good luck on your health and fitness journey.